A creator by the name of Lynn from Checkmate Humanity. The channel name will be in the description box so you guys can go check out her channel and sub up. She went into my live yesterday and hit my link and she shared a very interesting experience that she had with Diddy. Now, I was actually able to look into this experience a little bit more and was able to confirm the story further. This is an interesting party um, that at that time, back in 2010, uh, Diddy was promoting through a streaming app, kind of like YouTube, through a platform called Ustream. He was promoting his album, Last Train to Paris, Diddy Dirty Money, okay, with Kalina Harper and Don Richards. Um, very familiar faces in the industry how are you doing i'm good how are you good so i'm gonna make sure i get your channel here uh for everybody check out checkmate for humanity or is it checkmate humanity just checkmate humanity thank you my dear perfect yeah, i am subscribed to you and i've shared your channel before so shout out to you so you had a diddy experience what's going on there tell us do you remember a platform in, in like 2011 around that time called Ustream? Did, yes. It, okay. So I worked for Ustream. Okay. And oh. I was, I was in, I was in charge of marketing and um, <clears throat> the guys and Diddy was an investor in Ustream and the founder ah. And the founders of Ustream were really, really starstruck by him. And, you know, by that time, he was already super duper famous and had all this stuff with Tupac had already happened. And for those of you who don't know what Ustream is, because I see some questions in the chat. Yes. Ustream was a was a live broadcasting platform before YouTube had live broadcasting. OK, mm -hmm. so YouTube, um, YouTube was around, but it didn't have live broadcasting. And so it was, it was innovative, but it didn't do well as a business because the founders didn't run it very well as business. But, and, and one of the reasons they didn't run it very, very well as a business is because they, they allowed Diddy to basically take over their marketing. <laughs> and, and so one, one, when he was doing an album release, I had to talk, I had to talk to him about coordinating an album release stream at his penthouse apartment in New York. And, and, you know, I had, by this time I had already worked with a lot of, with a lot of high profile, high, high profile people. So I already know how to deal with okay. that. And you, but you also figure out really quickly what kind of high profile person you're talking to when you start talking. Right, right. And he's the kind of guy that is that he, you aren't talking, you're not having a two way conversation. He's just talking at you and you're just supposed to do what he wants you to do. Right. And so he was just talking at me <laughs> and telling me this is going to happen. 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 Go make it. So happen. he was telling you and then you had to go make it happen. Oh, Lord. Yes. And what ended up happening was actually during that stream, it was a live stream album release party. And it was basically, and, and I'm telling you this, it was basically an orgy at his apartment. Okay. That Get was, out of here. Oh. And there were, there were naked models everywhere in his apartment. And there was this girl in the bathtub. There was like three girls in the bathtub. He had all these candles laying around and one of the girls hair light lit on fire right there in the bathtub in the apartment on live stream. Oh, what? And, yes. So. And this is the video that Lynn is referencing where the model's hair caught on fire. All right. And you see Kevin Hart is hosting this. You see a couple other celebrities as well in there. Trey Songs is there as well. Check this out. This went viral back when this happened. Okay. Again, this was at one of Diddy's album release parties, specifically the one that Lynn was helping with marketing. Watch this. We're here 
Dirty Money album release party last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes. Got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub uh, doing it official. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Trey's up here. My nigga Fab's up here. You know, when you we have a scene like this, you got to bring bosses, which, as you see, is female friendly. We got a ladies and female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping the tub myself. Uh, you know, once once everybody moves out, you know, it's just me and the lady. This is my thing. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, did the camera catch that? Got the camera! Oh, got, the, got the camera! Off. Y'all saw Kevin Hart and everybody else out. I mean, they all moved. Luckily, she was able, I think, to submerge herself into the water. It was like nothing. Poor model, hair on fire. And I don't really know. I was trying to see if we could find her name online, um, you know, because it, this specific scene did go viral at one point. Yeah, this did happen at Diddy's party. That's crazy. And then there was Kevin Hart there who was hosting the damn thing and the other celebrities that also appeared at this party. Mm. Now here are some more scenes from that night after the fire had been put out. Um, check this out. You'll see more celebrities. Um, but I'm going to tell you something. When you with troopers, <laughs> we act as troopers and we fix situations. We're up here. Everybody's safe. Uh, you know, no, this one's here. We had Trick or Trey on the scene. Uh, honestly, uh, second degree black belt in uh, first date. Uh, right now, also my man Terrence, uh, BT 106 Park, he's in the building. Shout out to Terrence for a very small waistline on his pants. Listen, we're, we're really right now, listen, what we're doing is unbelievable. <laughs> No, no, T, T, no, no, listen, listen. What we're doing, what we're doing is unbelievable up here. Uh, we're, <laughs> no, listen, it's all love here, okay? I'm tipsy, everybody's tipsy. We're, we're, we're celebrating a movement. Uh, but on top of a movement, man, it, it's ridiculous that movement without sexy ball. This is sexy. Uh, push, push back. Okay, good, good. Uh, thank, no, listen, no, 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 listen, listen. Uh, thanks for crazy. When, when you left, I can be honest, uh, I was by myself. I was, I was, a lot going on right here. Uh, get in the tub, sweetie. Be careful. If you fall, that's a lot that's gonna go down. Listen, okay, there you go. No, just, no, just, just sit down. Sit down. Girl, sit your ass in the tub. It's for the shot. Okay. No. Watch your Trey. If you can't put it in the knot, if you can't Trey, can you put it in the knot? Just put it in the knot. If you can't, put it, put it, put a hair in the knot. If you can, just for safety. We had a fire. We had a fire here not too long ago. Uh, so we're just, we're just, as you can see, Fab is still shell shocked. He's still fucked up. Um, Fab was the first one that saw uh, the actual fire on him. It's actually a trade, but then Fab saw it. We got on it as quick as we can. We put it out. Uh, I can honestly say. No, 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 let's do it real quick. Okay, I was in the middle. Here, just for just you guys to understand what just happened. So I'm in the middle, okay? Trey, can you get this? Can somebody turn the mic over, Trey? We need the mic over, Trey. Is the mic over, Trey? Okay. Uh, it was, it was quick. Fab was chilling over there. I recall, Fab. You had just got your drink. You were drinking your drink. Puff, we're doing a reenaction. Can you imagine having to do marketing for all of this? I mean, all of these men are just drunk. Um, somebody just had their hair burned, uh, and they're trying to do a reenactment of it. <laughs> I cannot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, again, you see a lot of celebrities here. Um, yeah, let me know. Some of which have their own problems currently legally with allegations as well. I still haven't got... I don't know if this is the time or place right now, but um, it, it ain't the time or place for my baby pictures. Dude, we're doing a reenactment. Okay, look, we're showing the people what just happened. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen. you got that? It was right before the whole scene. Yes. We asked for two of them. Where's yours at? Oh, there you go. Trey, Trey, yours is right there, man. I was about to be upset. Hey, well, maybe that's enough. All right. All right. So look, listen, we're in the bathroom. We're having a good time. Everybody's chilling. I'm giving an interview. I say, hey, listen, it's real big. Listen, I say, it's real big. It's a movement. I hear Fab go. No, 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 no. It wasn't Fab. It was Trey. No. Trey, you were on this you, side. That's what fucked me up. No, I was right here. That's what I'm saying. You were right here. Well, maybe that's okay. enough for your ass. <laughs> no, so I was like this. I was like this. What? I heard Trey say. Because the camera was on. I was trying to have my shit together. You know, my sexy shit. Okay. So I was like. 
<laughs> that is how he looks. That is definitely how he looks. Oh, shit. Her hair's burned. I'm still giving an interview, so this is how bosses do it. I hear Fab go. Oh, shit. This shit is on fire. I didn't register the information yet. I said, and our shit is fire. Because this is what we do. I turn around to see a full-fledged flame go out. Before anyone can act, Trey tried to. What did you try to do? Did you try to get in there, Trey? I don't really remember. I don't really remember you that part. You did it. No. I think, I think she went. She went. She, she went, went under. She went. Baby, read your part. Do your part. Do your part. Do your part. Do your part. She went under. It was dip quick. Low, dip low one time so they could just see what you. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 The water was deeper though. Came up. Flame was gone. At that time. She is still in the water even after her hair had caught on fire. I mean, she was just not going to go. Oh, oh, my goodness. That's crazy. I was in panic. I had the asthma. It was a difficult situation. I ran by then. He, Fab was out. He was going. Trey started to sing his first single. Uh, why he went in the full flip song, we don't know. Uh, Puff came up and started dancing and started saying Last Train to Paris. It was it was definitely cool. We, <laughs> we turned it into a movement. Uh, that's basically it. Can we get a shot of Terrence's pants? Watch out. Get a shot of his. Look at his pants. Get a shot of his pants. I've never, I've never seen anything like that. I don't know what is Kevin's heart's obsession with this man's waistline and his pants and everything. This is weird, but hey, whatever. I don't know. It's, it's a very small waistline. Jesus Christ. That MR cheese. That MR cheese. Oh, okay. Uh, today was. <laughs> yeah, I believe that was Terrence J's waistline that Kevin Hart was obsessing over during that night. I don't know. Weird. Anyways, let's keep watching. Uh, anyway, it's he's he's definitely a I I'm not gonna take no for an answer kind of guy. I'm above you. I call all the shots. He's king of the oh. type of guy. So your Lynn, your experience with Diddy, it's like it's my way or the highway type of situation. Oh yeah, I mean, and that is the way some high-profile people can be. You know, I'm just this lowly marketing person at a company that he's invested in, and I'm just this woman on the other end of the phone that he's just telling me what to do, and yeah. I'm trying to push back because he. What, a lot of the things that he's telling me to do are physically impossible. But you can't mm. tell that. You can't tell that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Shout out to Lynn from Checkmate Humanity. Make sure you check out her channel. Rabbits out.